Hi there, Boca Raton. I'm City Councilman Scott Singer. Thanks to the Boca Voice for having us here for a rundown on what's going on in the city. We're going to cover in this segment what just happened, what's upcoming, and a little bit of trivia and fun facts for you. I'm looking forward to it and looking forward to your tuning in. Let's start off with what just happened at our last city council meeting, which ran six hours well past midnight. The longest item of discussion was the sale of the Western Golf Course. For those of you who haven't been following it, it's a complicated transaction involving two prime pieces of land. But what we might get out of it is preservation and enhancement of green space and millions of dollars for taxpayers. Just to start off, the conversation we've been having with the Beach and Park District would be for them to acquire the Ocean Breeze Golf Course, also known as Boca Tica, a closed down course that's in need of refurbishment. They stepped to the forefront offering $24 million to acquire that course with the envisionment that that would be refurbished into a world class course. At the same time, the city was looking to sell its municipal golf course in response to unsolicited offers that have been coming in over the last year. The bidding got as high as the high $60 million. And last night we had the final auction, if you will, between two interested parties, GL and Lennar. The council gave direction to go ahead with the offer from GL for them to buy the golf course, which is outside of the city limits on Glades Road for $65 million. We expect that the November 14th meeting will have the final decision. So what does this mean for all of you? We're taking a western golf course, which wasn't doing as well as comparison to the two municipal and county courses already out there, trying to relocate through the help of the Beach and Park District a course inside the city limits for more use by the residents. And in the coming years, hopefully that will be up, up and running, possibly with a golf school. Net net, $65 million to City of Boca Raton taxpayers, a new course and hopefully a lot more golf and preservation of green space closer within our city limits. We've never had a championship golf course within the city limits that was open to the public. We might now have 27 holes open in the coming years. Please stay tuned at the November 14th meeting and for more discussions. Also at our last city council meeting, we talked about ways to improve downtown transit. We had experts come in on a preliminary study to change the traffic patterns to increase walkability, pedestrian access, parallel parking and a complete streets at approach that would enhance Federal Highway and also provide faster movement through Dixie Highway. What would that mean? Well, it's a long ranging project for many, many years to come, but it could mean a system of one way pairs where Federal Highway would go north, Dixie Highway south. Believe it or not, it would dramatically improve some intersections and improve all of them except for a slight diminution of one. But aside from the faster speed times that we would enjoy on the roads, we'd get a much more enhanced pedestrian landscape. We've all longed to make Palmetto Park Road and Federal Highway pedestrian friendly. This would reapproach Federal Highway, anchored by the Hyatt and the soon to be Mandarin Oriental, to create a long boulevard of vistas for pedestrians to enjoy with buffered bike lanes and much more. We gave direction to request money from the local regional transportation planning agency uh, for a multi-million dollar grant to proceed with this study. In the meantime, we're going to be working on wayfinding downtown, enhanced lighting, and other things to increase the downtown experience. Finally, for our last part of this segment, as we go forward, I'll be covering some other trivia and fun facts about Boca Raton. Those of you who know me know I like them. And I have to start off with a recent episode of Jeopardy, where Boca Raton was actually the question in response to one of the answers, which was, this resort retirement community's name comes from Mouse's Mouth. That's actually a bit of a misnomer because Boca de Ratonis, the original source of our name, comes from Jagged Inlet, describing the jagged rocks, Ratonis, that were in the inlet, Boca. But more importantly than that, we're not a resort retirement community. We're a thriving city of nearly 100,000 people. And I want your help to try to get that message out there because as many Seinfeld impressions as there are, we're a thriving city with hundreds of millions of dollars of new investment luxury brands like the Mandarin Oriental coming downtown, and so much more. Thriving universities and a whole range of life for families like mine and hopefully yours. So here's what I'd love you to do. Stay in touch, engage. This is all part of the city's outreach to you. At the city council meeting I just described, we had zero speakers from the public speaking on that complicated golf transaction. And it's a very big one. I'd love to have more people engage with our city, knowing what wonderful things we're doing, or even having questions. Contact me on my social media at Scott Singer USA at all platforms, S Singer at myboca.us is email, myboca.us for websites, uh, the city's website, and of course, the Boca Voice here. Look forward to your comments and look forward to seeing you again soon. Thanks.